the jet mast heater just keeps progressing along the little steps. Uh, one of the first places that got over the pipe, uh, an 8 inch diameter. It's going to be about six feet, uh, maybe higher than six feet outdoors. It gets to the greenhouse wall, but I laid in a PVC pair of pipes, uh, one inch and a half inch. One inch will carry air, and a half inch will carry water. Uh, the brickwork out here got some masonry glue comes out of a caulking gun and it seems to do a fair job of getting my bad spaces. This is a cap capping glue uh, meant for capstones. Uh, uh, it's laying over here called PL500. PL500 landscape came from the local home supply. Yeah, this capstone is uh, glued down to this point where there's a stack of masonry, refractory brick rather. And just this morning now, well, finger pointed all those seams together and applied um, this product. Comes at about thirty-one dollars for, I guess, a gallon of it. It's supposed to do about forty-five bricks. Refractory cement from Rutland. Anyways, um, the uh, the brick layout didn't require me any cutting. Um, of, uh, of bricks. This one that stands out in the back here and the other that stands back with it are for dimensions so that I have on either end laying in three bricks, uh, two horizontally and one vertically uh, in the midst of it here gives me a, a seven inch opening on either end and of course enough room to balance out where the pipe and the drum will sit. But the project is, uh, this is a major advancement. Uh, I've been looking at what to do here for a number of weeks and once more on YouTube I caught this French film of a uh, happy clan of uh, French folk building one and uh, okay we're gonna go glue the bricks today. It's the day for it. I'm leaving the two on the front. They lay horizontally here um, off just for the moment. I may want to include some kind of a draft apparatus there. I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll see as time goes by. Jet mass heater. Thanks, YouTube. Olden found.